Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the custom blurring tool in YouTube. You can use the blurring tool on static objects in your videos, for example, to blur personal or sensitive information, and you can also blur moving objects or people's faces like you see in this example. On the left, you have the original video, and on the right, you have the video with the blurred faces. Here's what the before and after videos look like, and as you can see, even as they move, their faces remain blurred. So in order to use this feature, go to your video manager in YouTube, and then click on the down arrow for that specific video, and then choose Enhancements. And then what it's going to do is, um, it's going to open up the video and start playing, and just pause it. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drag this to the left so I can see the full video. And um, in this section right here to the right, you'll see there are three tabs. Just click on the Blurring Effects tab. And then you're going to see two blurring settings. The first one right here is the automatic one, and the other one is the custom blurring. So I'm going to just click on this button that says Apply. Okay, and it's going to apply the automatic blurring. Now, it's applied it, but as you can see, it's not too... It's not done it pretty good, as you can see right here, you can see the faces. What I'm trying to do here is, I want to blur the two faces of these two girls. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to scrub through the video and bring it right to the beginning. And then I'm going to click on the Applied button here again. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to just stop this thing here. Drag it right to the beginning. And then I'm going to use the custom blurring and click this edit button. And it's going to open up this dialog box. I'm just going to stop the video. If you notice, if you move your cursor on the video, you will notice a crosshairs. Your, your cursor is uh, essentially changed into crosshairs. And what you want to do is, I'm going to blur the, the face of these two girls. So I'm just going to drag this, as you can see as I'm dragging this, it creates a little blur rectangle. And then down below you'll see it'll, it'll do its thing, and then once it uh, sort of calculates, and it's going to load that onto the timeline right here. Okay, so as you can see, it's already in here under the timeline. I'm going to do the same thing for the other girl's face. I'm going to draw that little rectangle there. And then again, it's going to just calculate. And as you can see, there are, now there are two of them in the timeline. And I'm just going to play the video. But as you can see, it's not quite perfect. It's almost there, but not quite perfect. So what I'm going to do is, we can sort of fine tune it, and the way you can do it is, I'm just going to stop the video now, and I'm just going to scrub through it, and uh, move frame by frame, so to speak. As you can see here, it's not very well placed, so I'm just going to click on it and move it to the top. Same thing here, I'm just going to move it to the top, and then just scrub through. Let it just do its thing. Once you make any adjustments, let it you know do its calculating there. And I'm just going to scrub through again. As you can see right there, it's not too perfect either. I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to do the same thing for this one here. And um, you get the gist of what I'm doing. So what you want to do is just scrub through the full video. And uh, you know find places where it needs a little bit of fine tuning. And then just adjust those little uh, places where it needs adjustment. Just play the video and just see how it is working out. And so far, it's it's pretty good. Uh, but uh, you know, you get the gist of what I'm doing. You can just sort of go ahead and fine tune those little uh, by making those little adjustments. And uh, once you're done with the video and making those adjustments, what you do is just click this done button. And once it's done, you'll see that it'll start playing the video. As you can see, it's done a pretty good job of you know capturing the faces. Of course, this uh, video is because it's in edit mode; it's it's a little bit grainy. 
And then once uh, this is done, once you're happy with the results, what you can do is uh, click one of these save buttons. Now if you want to save this as a new video, what you can do is just uh, click on the save as new button. If not, if you just want to override this video, the original video, just click save. If you use the save button, uh, you will get this message indicating that you can still undo the edit. Now depending on the changes that you've made, it could take a little while for the edit process to complete and you'll get this little message there in your video manager. So now let me play the final edited video so you can see the blurred effects on the video.